California and current U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra came home to the Golden State today to meet with Congressman Ami Berra and the leader of Planned Parenthood. The Fox 40's Sincere Tonsil joining us with the message that they're sending for the people here and Sincere nationwide. That's exactly right, Eric and Nikki. This morning's roundtable comes as new Navigator research shows four in five people polled say the decision to get an abortion should be left to women and their doctors. Stats like that are giving advocates hope about the passage of Proposition 1 here in California. That's the measure that could amend the state constitution to protect abortion access and contraception. Today, Barra, Becerra, and Planned Parenthood President Jody Hicks stressed how the time since the latest Roe decision has changed their game plan. As we're thinking through policies, we're really thinking through what a post Dobbs world looks like and what we need to do to really create um, a place in those states that are providing access that the providers and the patients are really safe and their, their data is private and they um, don't have concerns about what other states are doing to try and reach into a state like California. And then just at the, at the federal level that we're really setting up, um, a, a way that people can get that care. So if they need to travel. After backing abortion access, Secretary Becerra announced more than $20 million in new funding to expand HIV prevention, testing and treatment services nationwide. It's part of his agency's goal to reduce the number of new HIV infections in the U.S. by 90% by 2030. Nikki. Sincere, thank you.